damn, this is one of those wargaming heads you've had. <sighs> a whole string of KV2 games where I am at the bottom up against tier 8 tanks. But, the great thing about the KV2, I've said it before and I'll say it again, the best thing about the KV2 is the fact that its gun will threaten tier 8 tanks. And that's something that honestly I don't really feel like the M4, A4, 3E2 or the Hellcat is going to do particularly well. So let us hear it for the KV-2, the greatest fucking tank in World Tanks. There, if you play World Tanks, you don't have a KV-2. Go and get a KV-2. You're never going to, you're never going to play another tank after this. This is like the final boss of World of Tanks. I'm reliably told that there are tanks after the KV-2, but you know, why would you play them? Well, what possible reason could you have? For wanting to play anything other than the glorious how it's a shed and tank combination that is the KV2. I beg us believe that there are people in, in this year 2016 who are suggesting that there are other tanks to play. I know there are some Johnny come lately's to the party. Some, you know, those fancy new Japanese tanks with their dirt guns. Who are trying to take the crown and um, None of them offer the, the core KV-2 experience, which is driving very slowly, losing your tracks, and getting your shot out. Because there's a, oh, crumbs, there's a thing around the KV, which is everyone, everyone loves them, but everyone also hates them. You can't, you, you drive the KV-2 and you think, this is, this is magical. This is like God itself came down from heaven with the plans for a KV-2 in its arms and said, here, here you go, here's a tank. Go and, go and have fun. And so it was written and so it shall be. Having said that, of course, I am trying to get hold of the Japanese tank with the dirt gun just to see how sort of interesting it is. Like now, if I was in any other tier 6 tank I wouldn't be able to do that. That's the strength of the KV-2. The downside of course is it takes an age to reload. You will get very few shots off so you've got to really hope that Every shot counts. Hey, Tiger One. <gasps> He's tracked. Oh my glob. Let's get him. Yes! Here comes the damage. I didn't set him on fire, sadly. Reloading. Yay! Right, that's him taking out. Take care of. Ready to fire. Target released. Now the problem with the KV-2 is its reload time takes a, is 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 long to put it, you know, put it bluntly, and it's slow. It doesn't really have a spotting distance to speak of, which can be difficult, especially if you find yourself being the guy that's up front, because you're really not going to be able to spot much in the way of enemy tanks. Ah, it took all the time in the world to line that shot up, and just sometimes... Ah, you're getting shot at! Oh no. Oh, there's no cover for me nearby. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna be able to even get a shot off in time. No. Poor KV2. You're on fire! But. Okay, our team's actually not doing that well. We lost the KV4. We lost our Yag Tiger 88. Although we took out their 
226, we took out Ferdinand. Took out a Tiger 1, not a Tiger 1, sorry, it's that actual thing. So what is it, 6 for 6. Still got a lot of tier 8s left. We've still got a lot of tier 8s left, it's actually pretty even. Um, the Rheinmetall, Borsig, Waffen, Traeger, I think that's what it is, I don't know, is it's actually AFK, I'm pretty sure this guy isn't here, so I'm actually going to do something, I don't very do it very often, I'm going to report him for inaction, there we go, it's my good deed for the day, T32, and they're cool looking tanks, look how chunky they are, uh, this ISU, I'm reliably informed, is doing something. Get him shot at, but it's well. got a kill, which is more than I have, so I can't complain. I don't want to, I don't want to look at the stats of this game afterwards because I'm going to get the feeling that I did more damage than some of the tier eight tanks. I mean, I got some good shots off, you know, did a bit of damage. I got shot and I died, but as far as I'm concerned, as long as, generally speaking, I can do more damage than I took, I'm usually like, okay, that's not the end of the world. I, did, I still played badly, I was still way, way out of position. Again, the KV-2. Occasionally I go, oh, you know, it's a, oh my god, the Ryan Mattel Borsig Bottom Traeger is moving! He's moving! He's alive! Let's enjoy. Ground covered, 50 feet. Here we go. Now's your chance to shine. He's like, oh, I'm going to get some kills. I'm going to kill the Cromwell. Come on. Look at that tank. That's actually a weird, weird sort of tank. Love tank destroyer. The shape of it feels just wrong somehow. Yeah. It's not glorious Russian KV-2 technology, I'll tell you that. But, no. He got nothing. Absolutely nothing! 